Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to enable job accounting from the web user interface of your copier. In order to do this, you're going to need your printer's IP address and access to a web browser on the same network as the copier. If you're unsure how to find or locate the IP address of your copier, please reach out to your IT admin, as they will likely have access to this information. So, once we have our IP address, we're going to open up our web browser, and we're going to type the IP address into the web browser as if we were going to a website. Now, on your way here, you might get a privacy uh, connection error. That's fine. Just click Proceed to Advanced or Add a Security Exception and then head on in to the Command Center Rx. I'm now essentially inside of the copier. Now, when you're inside here, it might ask you to log in as an admin. If you're not logged in as an admin, you will need to be in order to turn on the job accounting interface. So. I will log in as an admin using my admin credentials, which if you're unsure of what those are, please reach out to your service provider and they'll be more than happy to provide those for you. Uh, now, job accounting is used when we want to do basic color and usage tracking based on a user or account level. So in order to do so, I will go to management settings on the left-hand side, and then I will go to job accounting. Once here, I want to add as many accounts as I need. So by accounts, I mean uh, John Smith, Jane Doe, or you might add accounts based on department, such as accounting or human resources. Uh, you could also do it based on projects uh, or clients if you're a law firm or an architecture firm. Uh, once you've added all of the accounts that you want to add, and to do so, you click Add Account, you'll add the account name, and then you'll add the account ID. This is the number that will be used uh, to track the actual jobs by. So for example, I might do 5555 for my test beta account and then I'll select enter, and then the account will be added. What you'll find now is that up above you'll see a job accounting off. We always recommend that you input all of your accounts before you turn the job accounting on. That way the infrastructure is already all set up so that people have access to the machine almost immediately. So I'll go to job accounting and I'll go to my settings. And then once I'm here, I will turn my job accounting on. Now, I won't change any other options unless I explicitly want to set default counter limits per account. Uh, this is, say, for example, I have 1,000 prints per month that I'm allowed, and I have 10 accounts. I can set the copy restriction to allow no more than 100 prints per account. I can also set accounts by paper size as well. If I want to limit, say, for example, my 11 by 17 printing, since it counts a little bit more. Once I've made all my settings here, I will click Submit. Now what you will notice is that on the interface of your copier, a new screen will prompt asking you to now enter your account ID. In order to access the home screen of the copier, you have to enter your account ID uh, that we had to enter when creating the given account. And that will allow me to log in to do copying and scanning as I have always done. Now, in order to set it up on the print driver, we have another video for that since it's a little bit more complicated. So please look for our video on uh, turning on the job accounting settings within the Kyocera KX driver, uh, and that will include steps on how to do that at both the local and the server level, depending on whatever is necessary. Once you have done this and you've turned on job accounting, you are now ready to track usage and color printing on your machine. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we reviewed how to turn on job accounting on your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you.